Hey, what's going on, y'all? We are back out here at Clayton Homes in Lancaster, South Carolina. Yeah, I had to make two trips because the last time that I got here, I actually got here a little bit on the late side. Hey, shout out to the guy. He actually brought me the keys out because I had forgot. So this is home number one. All right, so this is home number one, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to go ahead and go in the inside of this one and see what these things look like. So he said it, one of the guys that, that was here last time, he said that these homes are going quick. They selling like hotcakes, man. All right, so we come inside and this, my friends, is the living room. It's a little chilly in here. A little chilly in here. All right, let's see here. All right, we're gonna back up a little bit. Do we have any lights in here, man? We got to, we got to be able to see something now. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. All right, so we got the lights and everything. What do you guys think about this living room? We got a big window over here. Y'all know how much I love carpet, man. Nothing like having carpet in the inside of a house. And I think we're gonna start down here. We just got to cut these lights on real quick. All right, just have to the bay real quick. All right, here we go. I'm gonna let you guys see what that looks like. That's the living room. Doesn't that thing look nice and cozy? You can throw a nice big screen TV up there and get rid of that uh, little paint or whatever that thing is. Like, what y'all got going on here? All right, so as we come down, this is where they eat, I'm guessing. Get a nice little snack, little round table. Fit four people there. All right, so we're going to go in the first bedroom. All right, let's turn some lights on, man. Y'all know I like to, I like to be able to see. We got the carpet down here. Not too bad, you know, you can uh, fit a, an adult in here. They can be comfortable, I believe. Got this big old window sitting over here. Nice walk-in closet. Let's go ahead and cut this light on. Yeah, turn this into a little, little gaming setup over here. No, it's, no, I'm joking, man. Ain't too many people gonna be able to get up in there, squeeze in there. They're still setting up. That's one thing that he did say. He did tell me that they're still setting up and everything in here, so... uh some of these homes may not be finished, which is cool. You know, we just want to see the pretty much the shell of everything and make sure you throw that carpet in there. All right. I'm going to tell y'all right now, this kind of gives me like one of my first apartment type of vibes. This was my room. And then I had actually like a little walk-in closet in my own bathroom. I'm thinking this was going to be a bathroom, but no. Got another closet over here. But I do love the drywall, man. I appreciate that. You know, they did do a nice little job. Wait, I was about to give him some compliments. We, I don't know what's going on over there. You got to do better, player. I almost gave you a compliment. Come on now. Get yourself together. All right. So here is, of course, the back door. Turn these lights on. All right. This is the back door right here. All right. And we have a bathroom. Love the combo, man. You got the shower and the tub combo. Those tubs just look so low. Like, if you want to take a, a bath, man, you ain't going to be able to put too much water in there. We got my knees getting all cold and whatnot. I don't like that. All right. We have what is supposed to be another sink over here, I'm thinking. That just looks so weird to me. Just one sink. You got, if you're going to do it, put the sink in the middle if you're not going to put two sinks on there. Yeah, of course, you got the toilet over here. Y'all see this? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I just feel like like this is a tub for like a kid or a baby or a toddler or something. A uh, full-grown adult. I, I know I can't get in there. I'm over six feet, man. I, I can't I can't do nothing with that. But I do appreciate the, uh, the shower and tub combo. We actually had somebody in the comments last time that said they don't like the combo. Like, why not? Like, you... I'm like, at least have some options for me. So we got a lot of space back there that's not being used. A little weird, but it's all good. All right. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the bathroom. All right. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. All right. We got two lights up there, though. Y'all do get a chance to uh, to see that. I like to be able to see what I'm cleaning. That's all I'm saying. I like to be able to see what I am cleaning. All right. So you got the back door over here back door or the side door because now we got three ways of, of getting in and out of here we're doing this tour a little bit on a different side ladies and gentlemen we're just rocking and rolling 
But before we get in here, I'm actually looking for the switch. I don't see it. Hopefully when we come back in here, it'll be a nice little switch we can get a hold to. It's so weird, man, because it's a light right here, but I do not see where the switch is. But this, I guess this is a little pantry. You know, you can go ahead and throw some snacks in there. Y'all know I'm, a, I'm the snack king. I don't think that's enough space for me to throw no snacks up in there. So this is the master bedroom. The master bedroom, uninterrupted. Just a nice, big, what is this, a square, maybe? I'm gonna have to bring out my measuring tape. All right, we do got some lights up there. We got two lights. I don't know what that's for. You got two windows sitting right there. You got the vents on the floor. I don't really like that too much. And I was hoping the closet was gonna be behind this door, but it's not. But the bonus about this is you have two walls that are not interrupted and you can actually throw a big screen TV and mount it on the wall. So I do love that, all right? Let's go inside this bathroom. Okay, we got the little his and hers going on here. All right. Sink, we got some windows. Oh, well, we have a window. We got some mirrors over here. I love the fact that they have lights all around so I can be able to see without having to worry about bumping into anything. What is this, closet space? No, it is definitely not closet space. So the closet space is actually back here. There's a light. So for the young lady right there, it's gonna be extremely dark over there though, I tell you that. And then for the young man on this side, you got that. I don't think that this is enough space, man. Y'all know how women is. They they love their clothes and their shoes. And most of the women around my age, they, they definitely need a lot more space than that. It's a little dark over here in this corner. I would appreciate a little bit more light. I like to be able to see. All right, so this is the shower. We don't have a tub and a shower combo. We just got a shower right here. Y'all let me know, what, what are these things supposed to be used for? Because, like, to sit down? Is this supposed to be like a... A sister, something like that? Let me know. Let me know down in the comments, man. All right. So that's the bathroom. Let's go ahead and head on into. Put that light out. And we're going we're gonna to find this doggone light, people. We are going to find this light. Where are you? Don't do me like this. We got this light going on here. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. No? Oh, okay, all right, there we go. All right, we found the light, finally, after 16 years. All right, so this right here is the sink. I do love the fact that they have like a little separation going on right here. Y'all know I like to have my dirty dishes and my clean dishes separated. I don't like to put them all in one one sink all right we got the frigidaire appliances i love this little island right here you can actually fit about maybe three or four people up there man people can sit down you know while you're cooking you're doing your little meal prep you have some uh some places to plug up while somebody is doing their, their meal prep all right we don't have anything on that side but it's all good you have the washer and dryer hookups right here washer and dryer all right, and some extra space over here. You can throw like a deep freezer. You know what I mean? Just like uh, grandma used to do back in the day. Got to have them. What is the, her meats? Had to have her frozen meats, man. Uh, frozen meats. Oh, wait a minute, we don't get the price just yet. Not just yet. What is that on the floor? I don't know what that is, people, let's see. The heck? The heck? I don't know what that is. That's weird, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. Don't 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 ask. Anyway, so what do you guys think? How much do you think it is for this three bedroom, two bath, one thousand four hundred and seventy four square foot home? What do you guys think? All right, drum roll, please. <laughs> Bam, a hundred and twenty nine thousand nine hundred dollars. And this home is called Let It Be. We're going to definitely let it be, player, because that's too much. 
but that is the total price. It's not showing any uh, any additional features or anything like that, but these are the add-ons. But yeah, that three bedroom, two bath, 1,474 square foot home is basically $130,000. I'm gonna keep it a band, which we done seen better. And uh, you got to come with it, player, for 130000 $30,000? You got to give me something. But y'all let me know down in the comments. What do you guys think about this particular home? All right? Let's talk about it. Until next time, y'all be blessed. Y'all be beautiful. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Actual price is... I didn't Because they didn't show the red tag. I didn't see the red tag. But it's $114,789. So they, they took about $15,000 off this home. Still too much. It's still too much, but yeah, it's just sitting right here on the on the refrigerator. All right, man. I, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.